Hi, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to the cutest pink mini backpack. I am obsessed with my bag and I feel like I have my purse organization just dialed in to perfection lately. So I'm just so, so excited to share that with you, show you my little purse systems that I have to keep it very tidy and to have so much stuff with me. This is packed. Okay, so here is the bag. Like I said, this is the mini backpack by the brand Fjall Robin. I probably butchered that with a little southern accent in there. Uh, it's a Swedish brand and the line of backpacks are called Kanken and these have been around since the 70s. I think it's funny because I feel like every generation since the 70s kind of thinks they invented <laughs> this bag. But it's actually a vintage style that's still made and these are just really, really cute adorable bags they're in my opinion pretty expensive for what you get it's like in the 70 dollar range but i finally caved and got one last year and i'm so glad i got it because it, of the cuteness factor i just think it's like the perfect shade of like bubblegum pink i love a mini backpack as a daily carry type of style bag i wouldn't wear it like for a dressy occasion but when i'm just running errands or throwing all my stuff in the car going to work it's just perfect because it fits so much in here as you will soon see so that's just a little mini review on the brand i think it's a good brand it, i've been using it like every single day it has a couple tiny scuffs down here i don't know if you can see those on camera but overall it holds up so well this fabric that it's made out of is amazing so so cute and then of course i love that the logo is red because pink and red are like my jam <laughs> my favorite colors of life so I'll show you how I have this set up. Okay, on the outside I have a hand sanitizer. This is from Bath and Body Works and I wanted like a plain red heart. Wouldn't that be so cute on this bag? But the only heart I found was this one last year. It has a little face on it. And so I just, I like to flip it around. So it's just a plain heart. And the hand sanitizer I have in here right now is it's the Bath and Body Works Rose and Ivy scent. It's like one of my favorite scents, especially this time of year because it's almost Valentine's Day. And then continuing to rotate the bag, there's two side outside pockets and it like just barely fits my phone because of the case I have on my phone. But look, it's so cute. I have to have it. <laughs> And I'm so sorry, I can't remember where I got this. I think it, if it was Amazon or something I can find in my order history, I will link it for you. But it's like a little faux Barbie phone case, so cute. And I forgot which um, phone this is. You guys can probably figure it out by the lenses. It's like iPhone 13 or something, I don't know. But that's what size phone fits just barely in this outer pocket. And I love having it right there. So I keep that for easy access. Well, I mean, not relatively easy. It would actually be kind of hard to pickpocket me, but I do have valuable items in these side pockets. So I wouldn't go into like Hollywood Boulevard with my purse like this. But if I'm just going to Trader Joe's, like my neighborhood Trader Joe's or somewhere, I do have these things hanging out of the side pockets. So this other one is my keys. These are loud, <laughs> but I like having a lot of keychains. I actually enjoy the, the noise. I don't know, it's kind of it's kind of fun. I wouldn't stomp into the library that way either. Like, you know, I consider where I'm going, but <laughs> in general, I love having my keys attached because it's like, sort of like a bag charm. It's hangs off the edge of the pocket like a bag charm. But my keys are in this Louis Vuitton key case that has the pink button and the pink interior. And I just think this is so convenient because I can have all my different keys on hooks in here. So I have my car key, I have PO, and then this one is just keychains. <laughs> so this one was from Hollywood, like one of those little touristy shops on the Walk of Fame, but it was my mom's name and I never see her name anywhere like in those personalized things. Or my name for that matter, my name is Charlotte. So they're both less common names to find, but I just thought it was really cute that they had her on a little pink star. So I got that. I have a pink pocket knife and this thing comes so in handy because it has little scissors. It has, can you guys see all this? It has little pocket knives, toothpick, tweezers, you know, classic Swiss army knife. So that comes really in handy. But I have to of course like take that off to go through anywhere with security like Disneyland or wherever. Um, I have this little letter C for my initial. I just thought that was really cute. It has a little confetti in it and then 
This is from um, this is from the Walgreens near Disneyland. If you ever want cheap Disney merch, you should check out like Walgreens, CVS, Target near Disney because they have like almost like off-brand Disney stuff. But I just love her. She's always so cute. Her little pink shoes and pink bow. So I just threw that on there. And then in this last slot I have like my building keys so if I'm walking my dogs I can just take my keys and not bring my whole shebang <laughs> if I'm just going for a walk. And then in this slot behind here I have my driver's license and some cards that I need and my main spending cards so I can just like only bring this if I'm just doing a really quick run to get oat milk <laughs> or something like that um, and not bring my whole bag but if I do bring my whole bag then everything is contained right here and it fits in this outer pocket. Then there is, oh, before I show you the front pocket, I'll just show you the straps on this are adjustable, but they probably are my biggest complaint about this bag because first of all, they're just like nylon or whatever this is and it's not super comfortable. But also, I'm a tall girl and I have these extended as far as I possibly can and it's like, it's real tight, like preppy looking tight fit if I wear it on both shoulders. <laughs> Luckily, I usually just wear it on one arm anyway, just kind of like sling it on one shoulder, but I'm, I'm like six feet tall for reference and this is the max I could possibly have it at. Anyway, all right, then we have this outside front pocket. This is where I like to keep like my most easy to grab items. It has this little weatherproof flap to keep water out if it rains, so I can kind of fold that back. And things I have in here are a face mist. This one is aloe and rose water by the Little Barn Apothecary. But I love having a face spray with me. I just, it's so nice. Like you're sitting in traffic and you just give yourself a little mini vacation by like misting your face. Um, whatever lip product I'm wearing for the day, I try to throw in here, but I also, you will see, have other lip products. <laughs> but this is the NYX Butter Gloss in this color Eclair. But it's just a cute pink lip gloss. I, my purse has a scentscape, and that scentscape right now is rose because of Valentine's Day coming up. So I have a little Glossier Balm.com in the rose scent. This is like part of a kit. If you get their like sample kit, it comes with this. So that's how I got the miniature size. But that's really nice to have just for moisturizing or even as like a lip product if I need it. I also have this hand cream Tony Moly in the rose scent, going with my theme. I have this little pouch that I sewed for tissues because it's just nicer than having the plastic travel tissue pouch in here. So that's always on hand. And if you've been watching for a while, you know my all time favorite lip balm was discontinued, the Bite Agave lip balm. And sadly, I have not found a replacement that compares at all, <laughs> but I've been using Lana Lips because I think it's my, my second favorite. It just doesn't stay on as well as the other one did, I think, because it doesn't have as much like waxiness. I really like a product that's like waxy so it really stays in place. But this is just so cute. The packaging is a million times cuter than the by Agave one was. Like look at the cute typography and then the fact that it's like pink. I just love this. So that is my go-to lip balm of choice nowadays. And I have my mirror in here. This is my little playing card mirror. I love anything by the Fred brand tends to be like really whimsical and fun. But it looks like a couple playing cards, but it's really a mirror so you can check your check yourself. And it has this little leather at case with it. And the last thing in here is a cuticle balm. This is the Sally Hansen one and I like it because it's like an oil. Let's see if it'll focus for you. <laughs> It's like an oil, but it's, but it goes on like an actual, like almost like a chapstick, a giant chapstick for your fingers. <laughs> and I love having this, like if I'm waiting somewhere, I'm quite content to do hand sanitizer, hand lotion, cuticle balm, and just like entertain myself that way. Okay, so this little button holds the top handles together, and then you can open this up. And the nice thing is that this zipper goes all the way down the sides, so you can really open it up if you really need to get in there. And as you can see, I have so much in here. It is packed to the max right now. But that's what my purse looks like, and I'll show you what everything is. So first of all, I got a couple new sets of purse organizers. I have this one that's large, and it is so satisfying. 
Like everything is so well organized in here. It just makes me so happy. So I have three different types of gum. My favorite, Trident White, and then Trident Classic and Trident Cinnamon. So it's so much fun when I'm with somebody who's like, does anybody have gum? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> I also have Listerine strips, I have floss, I have candy and throat lozenges, eye drops. These are little things of soap that look like gummy bears, but I love having those for like gas station bathrooms that are out of soap. And then in here I have some vitamin C pouches and some cute band-aids because you never know when somebody in the party is going to need band-aids. So I have these ones that look like lips. So cute. And then I have these that say my hero. So adorable. Um, and some regular band-aids and some alcohol swabs. So this is kind of just like a little emergency kit for whatever might come up. Next I have this pouch. I think this is super cute and it is to hold lipsticks. So I got it in red. Most everything in here is on my pink and red color scheme, which makes me really happy. But when you open this up, it holds, it has enough space to hold three lipsticks and it has a mirror for putting them on. And what I have in here are two lipsticks, pink and red from Revlon. The pink is pink in the afternoon and the red is love that red. These are both vintage classic colors of Revlon that I just love. And this way I can always touch up like a pink or a red lip. I <laughs> pretty much love having those on hand. And then the other thing I have in here is a little mini lip gloss. Most lip glosses are a lot taller than lipsticks. Oh my gosh, the focus. This is just a little mini of the Dior Addict lip gloss. It's so cute. But I couldn't really fit a full size lip gloss because it's too tall. But that fits in there well. And then I also have this little lipstick hanky that I sewed. So this is a vintage concept that a lady would carry a red handkerchief to blot her lips on. And I just think that's so cute, such a cute concept. Obviously it's like a nice sustainable idea. And I just open it up and blot like on the inside and then fold it back up so I don't get lipstick all over <laughs> everything and throw it in the wash. But isn't that cute? I just embroidered that based on pictures I found of vintage hankies because I've never been able to thrift or find one of these out in the wild, but <laughs> I made my own. And I also tied a handkerchief to the outside of this little pouch, honestly to kind of keep it more on theme with my pink and red color scheme. <laughs> But also because I do like to have a hanky with me, like if I'm out of tissues or just for a little moment of whimsy. But isn't this like the prettiest handkerchief ever? It's kind of Valentine's y. So I just had to have that with me. Then I have this pouch. This is like a little, I use it as a little beauty pouch. But it says, remember to write. It's a Kate Spade pouch that came with pencils and writing supplies. This was such a sweet gift. I just absolutely love it. Like it's so me with the pink and the red. Adorable. And I also added a keychain on here, just this little ceramic lipstick keychain. But I love putting keychains on things. <laughs> this is actually Nail Files. This is also that brand Fred. They make such fun stuff because it looks like chewing gum, but it's actually Nail Files in there. I have a thing of nail glue. I have a little miniature thing of mascara, a little miniature Dolce & Gabbana light blue perfume. I have a Dior cream cushion. I've had this forever, but it's just, it hasn't dried out yet. And so if I want some kind of foundation touch up on the go, I have that handy. And then this is really cute. This is a hairbrush and it has a mirror in the lid as well. So always have that handy. Looks like a macaron when it's all closed up. And then the last couple of things in here are a couple of hair ties. Okay. The next pouch in here, this pouch is one of my most prized beauteous possessions. I just think it's so gorgeous. It's by the brand Calf Kidston, and she's a British designer, I think, so it's kind of hard to come by her stuff. I had to order this from England, but look how beautiful this pouch is. It has an in for my last name, and the design is just gorgeous. And this is like a container of containers, <laughs> so depending on how your brain works, that's we either just clicked so much or you're gonna just be very amused by how weird I am. But I love having a bag full of other bags so it's not like ever messy and I don't have to rummage through a bunch of things. Like I know what container is what. <laughs> so I have this little pouch. It's really cute. It says I like you cherry much by the UB brand. And this is full of little various wipes and I'm out of my most essential thing I usually have in here are like little travel sunscreen pouches and I need to restock those. But I also have 
makeup remover, deodorant wipes, personal wipes hand refresher wipes and wet ones, which is also like a hand refresher wipe. So I love having a little variety for whatever may come up and I can like clean down a table if I need to, I can freshen up if I need to. Like I said, sunscreen is usually really key in here, comes in handy. Um, then I have another one of those little organizer cases. This one is the smaller size. So the one I ordered came with like a large and a small. The large is like really large. You saw it holds a lot. And the small one I use as like a little pharmacy. I have it all labeled with my label maker, so satisfying. <laughs> so for me, like if I'm gonna have some kind of need for a pharmacy when I'm out and about, it's a headache. So I have Advil, Tylenol, and Excedrin, you know, or cramps. Like headache or cramps are my problems. And my husband tends to get like heartburn or acid reflux, so I have like Prilosec and Tums for him. And then I also have cold calm for immunity and I have, oh, motion sickness is my other problem that comes up because in LA traffic or on rides at Disney or anywhere, I am very prone to motion sickness, unfortunately. So I have Dramamine, but it makes me sleepy, even the non-drowsy one. And then I also got the all ginger tablets that they make and those help a little bit, <laughs> but it depends on the situation. Like if I want to be alert for wherever we're going, I can take some ginger tabs at least. So that's my little pharmacy on the go. I have this little tiny Ziploc bag of safety pins. I got it at a 5k, but it comes in handy if there's ever a wardrobe malfunction. Um, and then the cutest purse organizers, these are by Caboodle. So maybe if we're a similar age, you might remember Caboodles were like the best beauty organizers ever. And they made these little purse size ones. They tend to be sold out. So if you're trying to get these, jump on it, but they're so cute. And this one is just kind of miscellaneous. I have an instant coffee, because you never know when you're gonna want some coffee. This is by the Hanks brand that Tom Hanks made and all the proceeds go to help um, military active and veterans. So that's really cool. And this is actually delicious. Like it's instant coffee, but it's so, so good. Um, I also have a Starburst all pink thing that you can add to water just like for funsies. I don't know. <laughs> And I have a phone charger, this is the fuel rod. I really wanna get a cuter one than this, but this is handy because you can swap it out for a pre-charged one at Disney or at the airport or wherever you might be. And then the last thing in here is a Tide pen. So this is just kind of like miscellaneous things that come up. And I also have the smaller Caboodle. So <laughs> these are like a, a set that come together. But in the tinier one, I have feminine hygiene. So these are just, Liners by the Honey Pot brand, which I didn't realize I accidentally got like mentholated. <laughs> I guess it's like their answer instead of scented because it's all organic and everything, but it has like herbs in it. I don't know. You can't really, <laughs> you can't really tell. And then this is a different brand of tampon that I got because honestly, tampon packaging is so awful in the United States. Like anything you can get at a drugstore is just guaranteed to be ugly. I feel like like neon purple and green and orange swirls and like a 90s print. I don't know, I'm just really over the tampon packaging. So I started researching and it was a good thing because it led me to some better brands. Like this is all organic and it doesn't have any sketchy ingredients. The brand, I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It looks like real, but it's A-E-L instead of E-A-L. But I was just like, yes, thank you. Plain pink tampon packaging. I don't know why that's so hard to figure out, but much preferred. And the last thing in here is a mask case. So I have um, a pink face mask and a black face mask for my husband if we're ever going somewhere that requires it or we need it or something like that. And that is it in that pouch, but we're still going. Then I have this little pouch, but this is just for fun. This is a craft pouch. I have a little embroidery hoop in here and a little handkerchief I won't show because it may or may not be a gift for somebody that may or may not watch this video. But I like to have a little embroidery project with me so I can do some sewing, like if I'm in a waiting room or something. And I have some nail clippers in here to trim the strings with if I need it. And I don't know, I love having a hobby with me. I love being the one person in the waiting room that's not on my phone. <laughs> like having an option of a little activity and then it like starts up conversations with strangers. So if I can fit like a little embroidery or a little knitting or something, that's always fun. Then I have this pouch with my sunglasses. This was from Joann's. I think, did they like discontinue this line? That makes me so sad. They had the cutest 
vintage ladies. But I love this sunglass pouch. And I have these really fun, crazy blue aviator like cat eye sunglasses in here. So those always come in handy. And then the way the backpack is designed, there is a back pouch here. So if you can see, it's like a little pocket along the back. So I have a book in here. I've also been trying to carry like an actual paper book. It's so nice to sit and read a real book. I'm just such a more patient person with this setup. Like I am never ever bored. If my friend is running late, she does not have to stress because it's like, I am fine. Like I could entertain myself for days with one <laughs> and survive for days. But anyway, I've been reading this book, Slow Days, Fast Company, The World, The Flesh, and LA. This was um, written in the 70s, I think. I just discovered this author, so it's kind of fun to read from 1974. So great. And then I have my, ooh, I have some Bath and Body Works coupons. And I have my wallet here. So my wallet is the Louis Vuitton planner agenda in the medium size. And I just love having a big old wallet like this that I can fit everything in. So on the outside, I have this, which is actually a little tote bag, grocery shopping bag I can take out if I need while I'm getting supplies. And then inside, I just have right now a cute little layout because it's my birthday month. Oops. So I have some little birthday pins and a little birthday page. And then attached to the rings, I have a coin purse. This is from Bob's Big Boy in Burbank, California. I just think it's the cutest mascot ever. <laughs> so I have a few pages of my like credit cards and membership cards in here. Any card I might really need to, I usually have in my smaller pouch, but if I need to like scan my membership card or anything like that, or vaccine cards, I have some coupons in this pouch on the way back. It's just such a convenient setup. And then I also have a pin in the pin loop, which is nice because I always like to have a pin with me. So I just have this really tiny pin. And there's also some paper in here. So if I ever want to just brainstorm or write something down on paper, I can do that. And I love having this with me because it just adds to like my feeling of being calm <laughs> and organized. I know people who carry like a lot less than all of this are kind of baffled. Like, why would you want to carry so much stuff? But for me, it helps me feel a lot more calm that like whatever comes up, I can handle it. And I have like all these comfort items with me. And if I don't have to worry about anybody not feeling well, cause I can try to hopefully <laughs> make people feel better. And anybody, any, anything anybody needs, hopefully I'll have it with me. So that's why I like to carry this much stuff. If I was gonna like be on my feet for eight hours at Disneyland, I would not carry this. But if I'm schlepping a bunch of stuff in my car, this is what I like to have with me. So I'm just prepared for anything that comes up. Well, we have thoroughly emptied this out. <laughs> I need to put it all back. I need to rebuild it. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed seeing what's in my bag. I love sharing these kinds of things with you because it's just fun to like have the girl time. Oh, there's a couple more things I was gonna show you actually. Okay, this is my purse water bottle. It looks like a popsicle. <laughs> But I like it because it's really flat, so I can fit this into my purse, like it'll slide in. It won't fit it with everything I just showed you. This would be like instead of my emergency bag, basically, if I wanted to have this water bottle with me. It's very handy. The only thing is, I don't know if I 100% trust it not to leak. It hasn't ever leaked on me yet, but I wouldn't throw my bag like on the ground. I would keep my bag like upright if this were in there, but it's pretty secure. And it's just cute. Anytime I can get the whimsical version of something, I'm always gonna do it. I just love it. And the other thing I was gonna show you, I don't know if you guys have a car purse hook, but this hangs on like the seat, the headrest, and then it goes over the back of the seat and you can hang your purse on there. And I just think it's so, so convenient. So in the car, my purse is like hanging and it's not rolled around the back seat or the passenger seat or anything like that. Okay, so that's everything my current purse must have. I had to share it with you guys. I hope it inspires you so your purse feels comfy and cozy and homey and full of little pockets of joy for yourself because that's so important. And you know, you can carry more than this, you can carry less than this, whatever works for you and whatever color you like. Obviously, I'm a pink and red girl, but I'm just here to empower you to have the purse that makes you the happiest and <laughs> lights you up and fills you with joy. So you deserve that. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you have a wonderful purse. <laughs> and I will see you next time. Hit subscribe if you want to join us for more videos. We do a lot of fun content like this and I would love to see you back here soon. Bye guys.